When I first started working in a private practice, doing receptionist work and physio assistant work when I was at school, and then went straight to university and qualified as a physiotherapist in 2001. I started doing a combination of full-time NHS work and private practice work um, in evenings and weekends um, to try and get my skill mix up really. Um, it was it was very, very demoralising, very devastating. I mean we used to send people to nursing homes from hospital when you knew that if they could just have a bit more rehab for a few more months they could go home and they'd have to, you know, sell their houses and and give up all that they'd worked for. When I started to realise that there was a gap in the market, um, it was very much about people not being offered the breadth of services that were available in rehab, perhaps not being offered technology, or not being offered the skill mix in terms of therapists that enable us to bring a programme that is perfect for that person, um, rather than trying to fit each person in a box. So we started off renting ad hoc rooms in another clinic and then we're now in the position where we've got our own building here in Doncaster, our practice in Ripley and Derbyshire and our own offices in Sheffield. We bought this place um, at the end of last year and it was an electrical shop at that time. Um, the owners were retiring and so we've stripped it back to brick and then built exactly what we want really. So we've got the wide doors, we've got the accessibility, we've got the facilities, so it's been a fantastic bonus really. The other thing that's happened over the past year is that we um, became very involved in looking at robotics, and um, particularly the walking skeletons. Um, so we arranged and negotiated with the company EXO to have one of their exoskeletons for five months, which was initially for a specific client who wanted to train with it. Um, and with Matthew, it was just a very heavy, very slow process. We were getting two or three steps in a session. With the exoskeleton, he was doing 500, 600, 700, 800 steps in an hour session, and that including getting in and out of the robot. So it's absolutely massive. We just can't replicate that in rehab with hands-on approach, um, so it made a big difference. There's always somebody fighting a bit bigger battle than the one I'm fighting, whether that's my battle because of my deafness or my battle because business is hard. There's somebody else out there that's got a bigger fight than me, and if I'm helping them fight that, then that's got to keep me going and that's got to keep my business going.